Welcome to Tag. Technology. Automoto. And gaming. And today, we're unboxing... A TV. The Vizio V-Series 55-inch 4K Ultra Screen TV. Let's unbox it. All right, let me get our... Oh, wait, it's upstairs. It's not in here. Shoot. All right, we'll see you upstairs with some beer. Pretty watch. Look at Derry too. Whoa. Tag, you're in. Movie time. Movie time. Right. Oh, that's good popper. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's only beer. You know, Derek, in Wisconsin, we're uh, ounces ahead of competition, Derry. <laughs> the Vizio V Series 55 inch flat screen TV. 4K. 4K TV? Yeah, so it's, it's a smart TV, Derry. Instead of Doing a Chromecast, plug it into your regular TV, it already has it built in. You it's a uh, Chromecast uh, setup door, you know. It's all. Yep, all good Chromecast, to go, so. Wi Fi, even Ethernet. This thing has an Ethernet plugged onto it, which is very beneficial for those of you who do not have Wi Fi. Or you, want, or you want to tuck that TV in the back power room, there movie theater room, where it's a big movie theater, you know. And uh, some would say well, this is small, but. I'd say it's pretty damn big. Yeah, it's big for this uh, living room. Really big. Hey. So, uh, there are some bad sides, boss. I mean, it is. Uh, I love the plug-in for the Ethernet. That's cool because you get a little bit faster uh, refresh rate, a little faster operating for all your Netflix and that stuff, you know? But uh, it only has a uh, 10 uh, hertz uh, sound there. Yeah. Per speaker. Per speaker. The sound actually sucks. That's why, if you see it in our latest video, um, what is it, up here? We got the uh, sound bar. Got the sound bar. Yeah. Now Vizio is really good at their sound. Yeah, so it's we'll nice. watch that one and whole yeah. house goes boom. But yeah, this this TV does not have the uh, sound features to it. No. I would say you definitely need to buy a sound bar for yeah. it. The sound sucks. For and my TV. after about four hundred dollars plus, then you have to buy a sound bar. You are asking yourself, is this a reasonable deal? Well, you know, it's got other nice things. You know, it's. Uh, it's Wi-Fi, so you don't have to have the plug-in, which is nice too. You do too. save yourself $50 or $35 on a Chromecast. Yeah, because it does have some smart features, so you have other apps, free apps and stuff like that in there. Um, you got three HDMI cables. It is a 4K TV. Yeah. Which I like that, you know. I'm not huge on picture, but you know, it's, it's a nice picture. Yep. Pair it with a nice uh, Xbox One X. 120 hertz, is that true? Um, I think so. I mean, it says it is. I don't know, we have to ask the Trevor. Yeah, to be sure. sure. But I would say for me, it's great for watching a movie. It is very nice watching a movie there. It's smooth, small, sleek, but smaller than my TV. You know, mine's kind of bulky. And uh, for, you know, the thickness, this is like uh, very thin. It's only about uh, four inches in the thickest uh, areas, you know? So. Some would say this is bad. I'd say, who cares? What's bad? The bezel. What's wrong the bezel? They say quarter inch bezel is bad. I didn't know that was called the bezel. Looks fine to me. So, if you have a problem with little black lines, then. Uh, I guess you should buy a wallpaper TV. There you go. That's a lot more expensive. How much you pay for this again? I think it's roughly $400. That's not so bad. You know, and with the uh, speakers, I'll say the sound bar is really worth it because, man, dude, this puppy rumble like no tomorrow. So, if you buy a uh, sound bar, and the TV, full price, you're looking about $800. But for a good sound system with a subwoofer, not a bad, bad movie experience, if you ask me. Jurassic Park. Ooh, watch Jurassic Park. Yeah, that well, is actually really The roar good. is like, uh, you uh, feel it in the whole yeah. house, you know? It has three HDMI ports. One of those HDMI ports, you can plug in your sound bar, your Vizio sound bar to it. Boom, you can now control whatever the TV volume changes to, the sound bar changes to. And completely commute the, t the crappy audio on the TV and you just have nothing but the sound bar. You can also uh, scroll through things like apps, like you know, sound bar and your Xbox and stuff, or you can hit the input button. I'm an input button kind of guy. So if you want to go through the smart TV features and scroll through stuff like apps, 
and program it, you know, you can do that. Uh, I'm just uh, too lazy to do that yet, so I say input and it doesn't do it. Or, since it's all Chromecast fat, well, I'll keep my uh, brother here. He's got the um, old Chromecast setup system Google here. Google Homes. Google Homes. So he just says, if you have a Chrome setup with your Google Home, okay, Google. Play that 70s show on Netflix on Living Room TV. Boom. Right bada bing, bada boom. It went to season four. Do you watch that 70s show? I have. Apparently, yeah. So, it'll do it again. But make sure you're linked up. You have technical difficulties. But if you're linked up with your account and everything, it'll work just fine. Super nice. It's even better than putting an input or anything like that because it just does it automatically. You no, know, you can be like, okay, Google, play YouTube on Living Room TV. So, and anyway, you can switch back and forth, do whatever you want, watch whatever you want. Relatively 4K. easy. 120 hertz, and apparently four inch bezels, which isn't that good. But it doesn't matter. The picture's pretty good too. I mean, obviously you're seeing it through a crappy camera, but our camera's really crappy, so it is what it is. But the picture's actually quite good and very nice. And if you combine it with this nice sound bar with the subwoofer, it sounds really fantastic. The only problem is, um, it's just a crappy sound by this TV. Oh, another thing, when we have a lot of lighting in here, um, it may not look like it, but we do. There's a lot of lighting in this room, especially because the walls are all white and flex off. And we don't have any glare off the TV, so it's got a really good built-in backlight in there yes. that uh, prevents any glare. Unlike I mean, some of the TLC uh, TVs where yeah. you get glare. Um, this, our window here. Huge, huge, huge window. window. In the evening, or when the sun starts going down, we get a lot of glare. It's the first TV I've ever gotten where I do not deal with shiny glare, not being able to Super see nice black, bl black, 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 dark scenes. Um, Everything's your, crisp and cool, you know? Your light scenes are a lot lighter, your darkers are a lot darker, and it's crisper, clear, and uh, a lot of good viewing just to sit back, have some popcorn, and a beer. And a beer. So I would say. I'll get a 7.5 out of 10. Yes, I do too. So I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, that's a good number. Alright, so till the next video. Tay, you are it. it. Okay, Google. Not now, Google. Never mind. Oh wait. I'm sorry, I lost track. That's okay.